So in today's episode, we are checking out one of the coolest destructible planes in Stormworks. This thing blows apart in 25 parts. It's even got a black box in, folks. Stay tuned until the end, because we have an incredible search for one of the black boxes in the plane, and you will not believe where this thing ended up. But be sure to hit that thumbs up button for some more Stormworks, and let's jump in. So 25 breakable parts has never looked so good. Look, it's got a pool table in it. Wait, how does that work while you're flying? I guess if it's a video pool table, that makes sense. But yeah, there's a, a bunch of seats in here. There is an arcade. Uh, wait, do these actually work? I'm gonna assume so. Start. Uh, we're playing. Oh, we're actually playing Snake. Hold on. I am terrible at Snake. Uh, on, oh, go up. Okay. No, go up. Go, no, up, up. And I think I've lost. All right. Well, uh, yeah, arcade in here. There's Pong. Uh, go back here. <laughs> we're probably gonna need all of this here today. This is pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, there should be a timer or something. Maybe it's in the front uh, or maybe it's the black box in here. Wait, arm airdrop. Wait, what are we airdropping? Is there something in here? Uh, we'll have to check this out here in a minute. But yeah, there's a way to arm uh, the whole self-destruct thing, which is going to be uh, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead. Probably grab a parachute here. All right, so here is the cockpit of this plane. So there's a lot of cameras on here. Uh, let's see, self-destruct relays. Ah, self-destruct button relay. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know. I want to try this in several different conditions. Like, obviously, let's go with a normal self-destruct. And then maybe if we have extreme winds, maybe it'll carry the pieces and destroy a little bit different. I'm not really sure. But this is going to be really, really awesome. Okay, brakes are off. Throttle is on. Um, maybe I should read the instructions. Oh, engines, here we go. All right, let's get our lights on and cockpit light. Oh, I think it was already on. There we go. All right, so let's hope we can actually take off here. Uh, it's an odd looking plane, but I kind of understand the construction. The whole fact that it's meant to break apart into 25 different pieces. Uh, it's this chunky boy though. <laughs> kind of looks like a well. All right, so it is, wait. I can't pull up. Oh, the pull up's pretty slow. What the heck? Uh, okay, so the controls, like the up is almost delayed. Do I have an alt holder on? No, I don't. Seatbelt sign, please. Uh, yeah, uh, hold on. Let's, uh, we better go uh, a little bit higher. Let's go 500. Uh, no, not 5,000, 500. Uh, we are coming up to a mountain right now. Click. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, landing gear. That's the throttle lever. Um, is there a landing gear button? I don't see one. There's a self-destruct relay. So yeah, I'm gonna go back over the workshop, but as far as the actual functionality of the plane, it's good. I mean, it's really kind of awesome. It's kind of like a fun party plane. Like people can be in the back playing arcade games and you click a button and it completely blows itself apart. So real quick, I just read the description. You know what the airdrop is? <laughs> it's guns. <laughs> Like, you can airdrop the guns to people. This is, like, some sort of luxury. Uh, I have way too much money, and, like, I'm a criminal uh, mastermind, and I can drop weapons off. This would be, like, something you would buy in GTA. Like, hey, your friends are all, like, committing robberies and stuff. You got to drop the stuff off to them. Okay, this is a little bouncy. There we go. Got the lights back on. Uh, I want to hit the airdrop real quick. Also, what's this? Oh, okay. There is emergency exits. That's a thing. Uh, look for it. Are we good? Yep, we are clearing the big islands right now. Okay, so, uh, airdrop on. Uh, it's moving around a little bit. Uh, okay, I clicked the airdrop arm above 80 meters. Uh, we're, we've got to be really high up right now, right? Huh, what is this button? Oh, cargo door. There it goes. Okay, airdrop is moved uh, out and... Uh, uh. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> Wait. Is there a parachute on that? On oh, getting here? Uh, I see it dropping. Uh, um, I don't know if there was supposed to be a parachute on top of that. It definitely just crashed down in the ocean. Well, okay, the airdrop has commenced. Let's go ahead and close that cargo door before I get sucked out of it. Holy man. All right, well, I think we are ready for self-destruct mode one. I think there is a way to change timers. What's this? Is this the pooper? Wait, that bugs me. Why is that locked? Monitors? Uh, there's the cockpit door you can lock. Why is that sight? What is in here? Hold on. Oh, geez. The uh, camera can barely keep up. 
Uh, is there something fun in here? Or is it literally a pooper? Wait. Hazmat suit. I, I don't know what the heck that is. I'm kind of curious about that. All right. Well, without further ado, uh, yeah, I guess. Are these all the different? Wait a minute. Are these the different things that can be destroyed? Let's go unlock controller room doors. Oh, this is a big unlock button. Okay. Clunk. Did that do it? Self-destruct relay. So uh, I'm still trying to figure out how this is working. Is this, is this a thing? I, I, don't, I can't click it right now. Wait, was that this? Oh, that was the controls door. Self-destruct timers. Okay. Also, we might need a welding torch. Supposedly, you can kind of try to put this thing back together. But problem is, we're going to land in the ocean. All right. So default settings, zero, zero. Uh, so 15 seconds. Uh, let's just move this to one. And then meters I, I don't even know let's go uh 300 okay does that mean we're gonna blow apart this thing here hasn't unlocked which is kind of concerning so if i turn it off uh the, yeah the self-destruct relay doesn't seem to be working so i'm assuming it, you just have to get within the parameters uh oh oh what the heck Yep, we got within the parameters. Also, there is a working black box that just... Oh. That is incredible looking. Uh, Oh, there go seats. Wait, that is so cool. I kind of want to be in the seats that fly off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. This is going to be bad. And... Clunk. Okay, we might want to get out. I probably should have grabbed some sort of diving gear. Uh, Oh, we got a little bit of air. Hold on. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, the door didn't open. Okay, there it goes. Ugh. Well, that was impressive. Is that the wing? Oh, that's the rear section. Hold on. This probably looks really cool. Like, if we were ever ever to, like, be able to get some sort of really cool uh, a destruction dynamics in here, like, could you imagine normal creations breaking apart like this? All right, so you got, looks like the side... Here's the rear section. This is, oh, okay, this is the arcade. You could have been back there. I kind of want to move next time we do that. Uh, also, we should totally do that over land. Um, where did the black box go? Oh, and there is a light down here. Is that the black box? Uh, oh, it totally is. Oh, it's heavy, so it went down to the bottom. Okay, here we go once again. So we're going to set the timer for 15 seconds. I want to break up over this island so get up here all right start to throttle down a little bit oh this thing is lifting okay uh we got to do this pretty much right now okay do, 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 do. oh we should have unlocked this door beforehand this is fine all right let's go boom okay so here are the controls they're open so let's go into here we want the self-destruct to be at the 15 mark uh, i believe i'm doing actually we wanted the one uh, I think. Uh, I might be doing this wrong. Uh, this is fine. Okay, so is it going to break apart? Oh, and we hit the relay. Uh, okay, I'm waiting for it. So maybe in like 10 seconds, it's going to blow apart. Oh, no, we might not be fully over the island. Uh, we might have to take control here. Let's start to move it. Uh, all right, looks okay right now. Uh, nothing's happening. Uh, are we good? Oh, hold on. There's a lockable button thing. Does that unlock the... Oh! Here we go. Self-destruct is initiated. All right, we'll see if it takes 15 seconds here. I want to be over the island. Okay, we're waiting for it to break apart. Oh, look, it's losing parts now. Wait, it didn't completely break apart, though. We lost the sides. What the heck? That is so cool. Okay, try to fight it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I think we're going to land in the water. No, where's the black box? Okay, the black box has fallen out on the, uh, on the mountain there. Oh, that is incredible looking. I am really curious as to what a storm's gonna do to that. And here we go. Ooh, we might touch the floor. Nope. All right, we're good. All right, get up. Okay, I got a little bit of air here. Pretty much the same escape. I think it broke apart a little bit different that time, though. It definitely looked like uh, we lost the side panels first. And then it. Oh, that's the black box. No, 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 no. Okay, it's not very deep. You're supposed to be able to actually use the black box. Uh, to get info on the crash. 
Uh, I need you to stop. Oh, it's gonna end up in the water, isn't it? It's not very deep over here, though. So, we got that going for us. Okay, there it is. Okay, so here, swim under real quick. How do we interact with this thing? What does it tell us? Self-destruct relay. Oh, it tells you the speed of the crash and everything. The altitude of the crash. That's actually kind of neat. Am I getting eaten? Oh, I'm just dying because I'm drowning. I thought there were sharks eating me at first. Yeah, that's actually nifty. I don't think I've ever seen a working black box in Stormworks. Okay, so this time I want to see kind of what this does. So you've got a button to uh, do the lockable buttons here. What are these? Is this for like the sections that go off or is this for video? I'm kind of curious about that. All right, so we want this thing to break up in a storm. So here, let's open this. Open this up. So we'll go with the altitude. We want it to be fairly high. Let's go, I don't know, a thousand. And that's roughly, I guess, what it's gonna break on. So there we go, we got that. Let's go ahead and get this on real quick. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make it go higher. Let's actually test this. Let's go maybe 3,000. That's 300, Komodo. Uh, nope, that's 303. There we go. 3,000, so it's gonna be a bit of a climb. Uh, let's go ahead and change the weather here. So this is gonna be a really nasty storm here. And let's see what it, oh geez, we're already moving. Okay, uh, crank up the engines. Uh, we better hope we can take off in this. Uh, oh, why is this thing catching air? Okay, push against it. Let's hope we can manage to take off in this storm. Uh, brakes are released. We are at full throttle. It's spooling up. There it goes. I have never seen a plane lift like this. It was basically lifting before we even got up. Why is this one affected so much by the wind? That's crazy. Uh, right now we're going against it, but if I start to turn, it's gonna be absolute madness. So yeah, uh, we need to climb up to 3,000 meters in order for this to activate. All right, we are climbing. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we're gonna experience just a little bit of turbulence and potential death. Okay, we gotta try to climb above the clouds here, see if we can get above the storm. That would actually be a really cool thing. If there was like a cloud level and like you can go above it and go above like the rain and stuff. Uh, that would be a neat feature. All right, let's keep climbing. We are at almost a thousand. Uh, we got a ways to go before we uh, get anywhere close to that breakup al altitude, so. Okay, it's starting to get a little cold. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna move to the back. As soon as I see it breaking up, I wanna experience this crash from further back. Holy man, I didn't know it did this. Hey, it's turning to snow up here. Uh, also, we are climbing at a rapid pace. Uh, any moment now, I think it's gonna start to break apart. This is so cool. I almost didn't know it did this. Uh, we never really have climbed up uh, when it's this cold and yeah, it's just snow up here. Not sure how it hasn't quite started to break apart yet. Oh, there it goes. Okay, pause it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this safely. I don't know if I can do this like this. Uh, hold on, jump out. Okay, so I can't move right now. Oh, geez, okay. Uh, I'd like to be able to move, hold on. Okay, we're out. Let's see if we can go into photo mode. Look at that, that's insane looking. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to jump into a seat here. Am I gonna pick the unlucky seat? I'm not really sure. Okay, uh, am I gonna fly off when this uh, resumes? Uh, very potential. Okay, there we go. We are in the passenger compartment. And, oh, it's breaking apart. Oh, it's that seat. Okay, thankfully we didn't choose that one. That looks so cool. Wait, what kind of altitude are we in? Are we aimed up or down? Wait, the plane's kind of staying together now. I can't actually go into third person mode either. Like, there is something. Oh, I'm still in the, uh, I guess the no clip. Wait, the plane is staying together. Are we still moving up or down? Oh, we're definitely going down. Uh, okay, this is not good. Hold on, can I, like, no clip? Oh, jeez! Uh, we just lost the plane, hold on. We can catch it! Uh, parachute! Okay, parachute, no, no parachute! Backspace, cl or actually, close parachute! I'm gonna try to catch the plane! This is some James Bond stuff here! <gasps> we might be able to do this! Uh-oh, we might hit it a little too hard. Mm -hmm. Clunk! <laughs> oh, we just yeeted off it! Okay, oh, yeah, you can't open up the parachute anymore. Um, uh, we just saved ourselves. You know, I wouldn't have done this in a normal circumstance, but I really want to see this thing go down. 
you could see it, Han. Here, get under here. There it is. It's falling from the sky. That is epic looking. I like how it kind of stayed together this time. We lost a section of the back, but that's what it looks like dropping from a really high altitude. We'll have to see what the debris field looks like. Uh, this is incredible. I want to see more creations like this. Not going to lie. And it's not laggy, so it's almost like, could we go even bigger than this? And boom. All right, so the front section has landed actually in fairly good shape. Okay, let's see if we can track down the rest of it. Looking for... That's a boat over there. I'm sure the boats would be coming in trying to rescue. There's the tail section. Look how far that is away. So here's nose. There's the tail section. Do we have pieces still falling from the sky? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, good luck locating the black box. It might have some sort of GPS location thing on it. Uh, there's a piece there. Do I see a light in the water? Hold on. This is probably really deep out here. Yeah, this would be like a needle in a haystack unless you have some sort of GPS location as to where it is. I'm looking for an orange light or a yellow light. I don't see it. Uh, all right, let's say the weather cleared up. Would we be able to locate this thing without a GPS uh, locator? Um, yeah, I didn't see it drop. Or actually, is it still in the sky? There's a chance, because it probably deployed with a parachute immediately, that it could still be going down. Watch, somebody probably spotted it in the comment section, and I just didn't see it. Yeah, that's a good question. Like, what direction were we aiming? Would it have been down here? Come on, let's go this way. Okay, look for lights in the water. Yeah, I don't think we're finding the black box. Uh, but that is a good thing. I, I would like to actually look that up. Like, maybe there would be a way to track it or try to ping the black box to get a location on it. Uh, I think that would be a really neat feature. But nonetheless, this is a really awesome plane. You guys should totally go check it out. Hold on. I'm seeing a light. Okay, there's debris here. There's a light that either is an AI boat or somehow the black box ended up way over here. This is almost too far, right? That's the correct color, though. Oh, please tell me this is the black box. There's a piece of the plane out here. Wait, is the black box still tucked under it? Or wait, where is it? Oh, and this is definitely a piece of plane. The debris field on this is wide. Is the black box down here? Uh, that might have been a light off the wing. That's wow. That kind of gives you an idea as to how far the debris field is. Because there is the front, way over there, there's the midsection. Actually, the front's there, the tail's there, and then you got a piece way out here. That's ridiculous. That's the light we were seeing, by the way. Also, everything looks faded because my character's half dead. Like, you could totally do another thing where you go out uh, in a boat and try to, like, locate the wreckage. I think that'd be a cool episode. Maybe we'll do that. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. <gasps> Found it right at the end. We found the black box. It is, wow, it is really far away. Thankfully, there is a light on it. Look at this. You've gotta be kidding me. This thing dropped really, really far away. Okay, let's confirm this is the black box of the airplane. Yeah, I almost think this would be fun to do in multiplayer. Maybe we'll have to do that, but yep, there it is. There's the black box. We have located it. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time.